Hello everybody! Welcome to my playthrough of whatever this Nino Kuni 2. We are we are in um I forgot the name of this town. Uh, but we're looking for the last memolith. Uh, which is basically a if you're not yeah, been following this game. A really crappy version of a camera. Like uh, almost to the point where it probably just shouldn't exist. Um, it's basically a voice recorder and a single image put together. Which, uh, I mean, not not that great. That would mean, like, uh, if you want to make a movie, you have, like... We, we are severely underleveled. I don't know if we should have bought armor or if we just need to grind. I mean, I can't really grind in here. There's only so many enemies, so we kind of just have to... We have to go with what they give us, you know? Uh, and, and because of that fact, I'm going to save, actually. Um, how do I save? System menu. We can't save. So disregard that, I'm not going to be saving. I just, because I know there's going to be a boss fight at the end of this. And, um... Well, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be kind of challenging. But there's, I mean, the only, th the only thing we can do is just keep going with it. Okay, that's obviously not the way to go. And it looks like we have another boiler puzzle. Um... I will not be playing Boiler Puzzle on my channel. Or Boiler or Boiler Sim. I don't know. That was that was a, that was a terrible joke. The one thing that did remind me of, there's currently a game on Steam called um, I think it's like PC Building Simulator. Um, it actually looks kind of interesting. Like for what it is, it actually kind of looks well done. Ours Ours Technical actually did a review on it today. I'd actually seen it before they did the review. Um, but, I don't know, that's like everybody's going to jump on to do a review, a review of that. Um, but I still might check it out. It sounds kind of interesting. Let me, uh, I, I did have a stint, uh, I've actually had a couple stints, uh, where I've played, um, Truck Sims. Um, I've put a good amount of time in Euro Truck Sim. Jesus, Euro Truck Sim and American Truck Sim. Uh, they're well. The one thing you have to understand is they're actually they're RPGs. They're not Sims. Uh, I mean, they're Sims in a way, but they're also RPGs. So if you have like any like, holy Jesus! Oh, we're we're gonna die. We're <laughs> we're gonna die. Um, so if you have like, if you like RP, if you have like that RPG itch, um, where you like, you know, you like the leveling up, you like, like that type of thing, uh, the truck sims have it. Like, you can level up your truck, uh, you can level up garages, um, so honestly that's probably the element that keeps me playing the most, um, but I mean I haven't played in a while. But so like, before you're just like, oh my god, freaking truck sim, like, there is that element to it which is kind of cool um because it could just be it could just be driving but it's not um another thing that's pretty cool about them is they're, they're just kind of relaxing um but i one of the my biggest problems with it is like <laughs> i you know i have an hour and a half drive home the last thing i want to do is like <laughs> off in a driving simulator you know what i mean like it's kind of like why am I doing this? Um, but in some ways, it's like relaxing. Um, I ha I'm, I'm sorry, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, I probably... <sighs> I think I want to go th this. No, that's the map for above me. That doesn't help. Okay, where, where can we get on? I don't know. What's... The blue circle doesn't help. I don't know how we get up above. Can we jump up, like, here? No. Um, so it is kind of relaxing. Um, but it's also... Well, and another thing I like about it, though, is the the loads are kind of cool, I guess you could say. Like, you know, it is kind of fun just to pretend like you're a trucker and you're, and you're hauling this oversized load. It's kind of, it's kind of fun. Um, but it, it gets old. I can never, like, there's some people, what the fuck? There are some people who, like, play that, like, 
have like thousands of hours in it. I, I can't do that. Well, and another thing you probably don't know is that they have, I guess they have multiplayer. Um, and they, well, like they have, um, there's, there's radio stations, um, for the truck sims. Um, and like, what I mean, like they have actual radio stations. So it's not just like, oh, it's simulated radio station. Oh man, this dang door is the biggest pain of them all. In what way? Well, through there is what we make a lot of stuff that hasn't been announced yet. It's all top secret, so the security is extra tight. See three lights above it? The doors will open unless all three are lit. Which will mean finding all three lock switches. God, more blessed contrivances and contraptions. Tis one thing after another with you swabs. Why, back in Cloud Coral Canyon, we were happy with two planks and a latch of court. Curse ya. <laughs> I guess the fact that you were willing to throw people off cliffs just for setting foot in the place probably helped keep prying eyes at bay, though, huh? <laughs> har har, you bet it did. Alrighty. Alright, let's just go find these switches, shall we? Um, but so, like, yeah, there's a... Uh, the one that I listened to the most was called Truckers FM. And you can actually go to Truck... I mean, they're not giving me money. You can check out Truckers.FM. Um, and they have like, um, they'll either have like an auto DJ, which just kind of goes through tracks, um, when nobody's broadcasting, um, or, uh, they'll actually have people broadcast from Twitch TV. Uh, and obviously you don't need to go to Twitch to hear it. You can hear it all on truckers.fm. Um, but so yeah, I would, you know, I'd come home, listen to that, do a couple routes. It was, it was a good time. Um, the one thing that really bothered me. I would say in it is um, they have there's two different speed limits. There's ones for trucks and ones for um, all other vehicles, which I've never seen in my life. Um, like I know like that um, trucks have like limiters and stuff on them or governors, whatever you want to call them. That like limit the speed, or at least I think some of them do. Maybe not all of them. It might depend on the state. I don't know. Um, but I've never seen like, yeah, trucks have to go 55 in a 70. So that was one thing that was annoying. Was like uh, d having to go slower than all the other traffic, or and like the traffic is going 75, you're doing 60, and you get a ticket. That's freaking dumb to me. I'm sorry, but that's like, that's dumb to me. Um, hold on, we're gonna heal because we're... Oh my, look how many Soraways we went through. We are severely underleveled for this. Whatever. Um, oh, the, and then, I think another... I, this is probably my biggest gripe, is... If you miss a turn... Um, it, it can, like, cause you your route to increase by, like, six hours. Um, because of the way the roads are constructed, there's not always, like, an easy place to turn around. Like, it's not... Like, not every exit you can turn around. Which, I mean, it would be hard to... It, I mean, it, it, it does do a good attempt at making freeways, but, like, it struggles. And without actually, like... If you look at the map, you don't even have to play the game. If you did, like... American Truck Sim map, you'd see like, just follow a route and try and turn around on one of them. And you'd, you'd see like how difficult it could be. Um, which can be like really frustrating because sometimes like you just get in the zone and and then, oh, miss your turn. It's not like you, you can't just go to the next exit and turn around. Um, but you can also like, not only can you like level up your truck, but you can like customize the lights, the tires, the rims. Um, I, pretty much everything. It's pretty cool. Whoa, no, 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 don't, don't fall off, don't fall off. Frickin' A. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're in battle now. I didn't even see enemies down here at first. I also wasn't expecting to fall back. I mean, we can we definitely experience this. We've already went through almost 50 freaking Soraways down here. Oh, we may have gotten better. Oh, oh my. So it looks like that 10 is based on how many Soraways you have left. Or not how many Soraways you have left, but it uses the amount of the Soraways you have, but you can only use 10 per battle. Holy Jesus, these are some tough enemies. We we should have we leveled up outside of here. 
when we saw how tough the I don't know why we came in here even though I guess like I just wanted to get onto the story but that was that was a mistake. Because we're getting steamrolled by this uh you could call it a steamroller. It is a ball. Uh, I guess you could. Uh, what's the? Uh, what's the thing in the new Star Wars movies called? The the clone, not the clone, but like the. Uh, not R A D A. What is what is that orange ball called? Someone will know what I'm talking about. That's basically a ripoff of R two D two. You know I'm not lying about that. They were like, we need another android that we can sell frickin' merch for. Let's create B8 or whatever his name was. I mean, the whole... That that was probably my biggest problem with the episode... What was it? Episode 7, would it be? The, 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 the first movie of the new trilogy. Was that it was like... It was pretty much a copy of episode 4. Which... Like, I don't know, I just don't think that was... I mean, it, it was like a safe move, but it's like... we were, but People have waited, like, years for this, and you make a copy of... You know, come up with, like... And I, I don't know, maybe they, they made it better in the second and third installments. I, I have no idea where I'm going, guys. Where? Okay, so we need to... We don't need to activate the blue switch, I don't... Oh, jeez. Can we... We need to. I have no. I have no idea where, where we need to go. I'm gonna just have to keep walking around. I don't know. Okay, so we hit. We hit that switch up here. Is did we check this staircase? I think we did. We might not have checked this staircase. Maybe that's what we're missing. No, this was the heater. So we can drop down here. Because that was just... Right. And we, we can do no more here. We got the heater and we got the... Or the boiler and the switch. Which leads me to believe that we have to come back here and flip a control panel somewhere. I just don't know where. It may be on the other side of this. So I don't know. Okay, we did come up here. Sorry, this is... Got so so into truck sim. I I would be open if somebody wanted to see me play that. I would be open to playing truck sim on this channel. Um, cause I wouldn't I would not do like a I wouldn't do like the full playthrough. Oh, is this what we have to press right here? What does this change? Yeah, that's that's the switch we were looking for this entire time. Sorry, I probably walked by that like three times. Um, listen. By the way, sometimes it's such okay. Oh. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do like a full playthrough. I don't even know what a full playthrough would be. I suppose you could like um. I, I don't I don't I don't know what you could use for a full playthrough. I guess like. Yeah, no, I have no idea because there's not really any end to the story. I guess you can max out. Your truck and character. I don't, I don't know. Um, another thing I was gonna mention, which I thought was kind of weird. But kind of cool. Um, they have um, like on the like they do the radio broadcasts, and there's also multiplayer, and they they give like a little fake traffic report of how like <laughs> busy roads are, because they're able to get how many players are online from somewhere, and then they they like kind of extrapolate that uh, to do a little traffic report, which is kind of cool. Again, I mean, there's only like, I don't know, there might be like 20 people online at a time or something. It's not a huge community. But it seems, there's also like commercial, they have like virtual trucking companies, which is just, I don't know, I think kind of interesting. Like, they'll give you like jobs and like you have to fill out like a, um, like a logbook and stuff. I didn't do that. I have no interest in filling out. That's a little too real for me, <laughs> especially when I'm not getting paid. Um, do we have to rotate that again? Because that didn't, um, oh, we have to, we just have to go up there. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's a little too real for me to, <laughs> to play, I think. Oh, we actually, we could have rotated it again, but we'll get this Higgledy. We got creamy cheese. I'm sure that will be great by the time he brings it back to his kingdom. 
Hey, I know. It's talking about that milk. Ain't it the proper posh stuff with nothing taken out? Creamy cheese, churned butter, single cream, thick yogurt. Um... I, I, I don't know. Fresh milk? Right? That would mean it's straight... I, I, I would... I would think that's correct. Let's see what he says. Uh, you try offering a bottle of fresh milk. There's no response. It doesn't like this. Okay. Try it again. I know it, there, there, it might not be one of these items. I don't think it's creamy cheese. That is not what I would consider thick milk. I wouldn't consider churned butter thick milk. Uh, a sop used to make... I, I wouldn't... I, I don't think we have what we need. I mean, I could sit there and try all of those. If we do have it... That sucks. Because I don't... There's too much... There's too much text for me to... Try each one of those items. If there, if there wasn't so much text before you get to give them... Like, if you could just, like, give them the item and be like, Nope, that's the wrong item. Try again. Okay, so we were up here. Where are we supposed to go? Uh, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Uh, where are we supposed to be going? Oh, can we drop down? Is that what they want us to do? No, we can't drop down. I feel like that's kind of what they want us to do. So, but it kind of looks like they want us to go here. Like, like they make this platform like, hey, jump off. Oh, are we supposed to... How do you get on that platform? Oh, mother. Mother effer. I didn't mean to jump down. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, we leveled up. But still, it's, this is not where I was trying to... I did... I, I just feel like there's never enough time to dodge. I don't know if I'm just... I'm probably just terrible at the game. That was my guess. It did take me a while to figure out the skirmish. Oh, Jesus. Ugh, we, we need to be higher level. I guess this is where you, you can kind of farm this area, because this, I guess, I guess enemies kind of just like continue to spawn here. Okay, we're not going to stand next to him, because that would be what a stupid person does. Um, oh, I was going to, I, those things do not, oh, that's what he does. Oh, I actually stood in the other place. The Hickleys don't stay active for long enough. Anytime, like, anytime I try and finally get to him, uh, I tried to jump out of the way, that didn't work. Anytime I try and activate them, they're already gone. I start walking... Oh my... I, what, how am I supposed to dodge that? I literally stood up and was in its way. Do that move, please. Don't go back into your ball. Don't go back into your ball. Don't go back into your ball. And we don't even have like a save point we can go to. Which is not good. I mean, we do, but it's, like, I don't think we can save right here. Yeah, if we die, we're, we're going back a ways, like... This is a, a bad spot to die. <laughs> That's why I'm being very liberal with my, uh... Sore ways. So, I don't know... Like, we can go on this, but that doesn't help us at all. Do we have to align the bo I don't know, dude. I'm freaking lost here. I'm I'm too tired for this puzzle right now. Be like trying to wake play play the room first thing in the morning. Like it's just it's not going to go well. Okay, the squares are the little switches. Oh my god, there's okay. Well, let's try not to die. Watch your backs. Uh, these, these, these spots, these robots are a little easier. You know what word I absolutely love is robots. I, I like that term for robots instead of robots. Zoidberg is one who notably says it. Um, I think they say, there's a couple other movies and stuff I've seen people say robots. Oh, okay, where do I go? Where do I go? They say you can use your map, but your map's not very helpful. Because there's different layers. It's like an onion. 
don't even see where I'm on the... So I think I need to walk to the... I need to walk back to the other side is what I need to do. Okay. Again, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard having a conversation and... Um, we're in play at the same time. It's difficult. You know, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not physically difficult. It's just mentally difficult, you know, which is, uh, you know, it's important. You gotta, you gotta take care of your, your physical, your uh, mental well-being occasionally, or just read me, me and me, me and real life memes, you know, one, one or the other, both, both work, both work. Um, okay. So this was the last one we did. Now, the question is, it, it doesn't look like they let you just fall off. Right? Like, I think we had to do something with the discs. The disc. Patrick, the disc. The disc. The disc. Patrick. Alright. Um, but we want to get to that center platform. So can we... Where is the switch? Switch is over here. Can we like rotate this so the switch is in a better position? Or the uh, not the switch, but the circular things are in a better position. Um, I don't think those are in a great position because, well, no, because that only lets us get to the Higgledy, which we don't have the item for anyway. So if we do it one more time, do we have to move the blue? Is that our problem? We need to move the blue. Hold on. Let's see where the blue is. Um, maybe. Can we do it one more time? Okay. I didn't know. I saw the panel on the right. I didn't know if that rotated the third time, basically. Um, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything with this setup. Like, cause obviously we have to go. Oh, excuse me, this way. I might. Well, we still got eight more minutes of trying to figure this out. I mean, cause there's like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Well, honestly, though, that kind of looks like you could jump up, but uh, I don't know. What's over here? I mean, well, no, we already have that switch. Yo, this probably is not that difficult, so I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, I am I'm very tired right now. As you can hear by my yawning. Oh, hopefully that's not too annoying. There's not much I can do. I'm not going to cut the episode short because I'm yawning. And I'm also most certainly not going to edit out my yawning. There is a uh, no way, no no chance in heck that I'm editing out my yawning. That is way too tedious, and I just I yawn too much. And I think talking about it is making me even more sleepy. Also, I have no idea how to solve this puzzle, and I don't how oh, I can't even I can't even take a a save break <laughs> because like you can't just they purposely make it so you can't just walk off of there. And I don't know, like, why... Like, why would they send you back here? I don't understand. Like, I feel like that blue one is in the right place. And I feel like that red one is in the right place. I don't know how... Like, we can't just jump down to the red one, right? They don't... Like, okay, can someone explain to me why I'm not able... I guess maybe because the height is too high. I guess it may, it may account for fall damage. Like, there's only... Excuse me. There's only two boilers. There's only so many ways this can go. And it's not like I can have somebody stand on one of these wires. Because that's what I feel like this puzzle needs to be. Like, almost like a portal solution where, like, the person needs to stand on the platform and then you can, you can rotate them. I mean, is this any better? No, because then I can't... I can't do anything with that with that setup. There's, there, is there not only four ways this can go? And I feel like I've tried all four and I haven't found a solution. 
That's really where I'm at right now. Can we... Nope. Is Josie even let us do that? Well, I don't have to worry about talking this episode because all I'm going to do is yawn. Like, I, I don't I don't understand. This... I don't understand. Okay, maybe we haven't tried... Okay, let's flip the red switch around. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna put the red switch in the other position. Where is the red switch? Red switch is right here. So that we can't actually get through. And then we're going to switch. Well. Oh, maybe that. Maybe this is what we. Oh, Jesus! If this is what we needed all along, I'm gonna feel like a real, real big Dumbo. Dumbo the Elf. I don't. I've never watched Dumbo. Although I think I'm about to feel like Dumbo because this is. Apparently, we've only tried three, and I was just trying the same three over and over again. Like a big pink elephant. Why was he named Dumbo? Was Dumbo actually dumb, or is was that like a common name when the movie came out? I don't feel like it was. Okay. Um, game. Game! I don't... <laughs> I can't get to that switch, game. Wait, where is the switch? Wait, hold on. Am I... Where is this actually pointing me to? We're on the wrong side. Wait, what? What, what? I said what, what? A shush. What, what? Hush, hush. Oh, okay, it's right here. Man, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm really struggling today, guys. Although nobody watches these, and nobody's gonna watch them, cause oh, I don't know. Some days I just feel like not doing this anymore. Uh, we did it. All three lights are on. But then you know, I try and um. All right, the production line we go. Well, first I want to get through this game. I'm having fun playing this game. Don't go, don't get me wrong. Um. And I do kind of enjoy recording. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, it, 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 I don't know. It's fun, I guess. We'll, we'll see how long. Maybe, I don't know. No reason to talk about those woes, though. We'll, we'll talk about a, a different subject here. I'm just tired trying to think of anything to talk about. Uh, well, Yannick. We are... This has got to be close to the last Memolith, right? Okay, we can't go up those stairs. There's the last Memolith. Let's take a look at it. You obtained a Memolith B-104. Yes! That's the fourth Memolith. Hmm. Indeed, the fourth and final one. Uh-huh. Shall we take a look? Okay, okay, listen, everybody. We've brought a string of hit products to market that have changed the world forever. Wow, that's and quite the building. And thanks to all of your hard work, now we've built this to a revolutionary new campus, all right. the Treehouse. I'll admit, that's a pretty cool treehouse. But it's actually in a tree. And that's not all the good news. We just added our 315,639th team member, which means we're not a company anymore. We're a Wait, nation. Wait, so in you're our telling me life. at 315,638, you weren't a nation? Tell me, tell Soon me where you get that we'll information be the biggest from. Biggest and best this world has ever seen. Just one last push. Are you with me? No. Woo! Yeah, we're with you, Zip. Vector, vector, vector. Well, I bet they regret rooting for him now. After he's killing his own people. What a day. A company that started out in a shack got big enough to build this place. Got so big that it became an actual country. <laughs> what, what happens if somebody would have died, like, right after he announced that? What would he have to declare? Oh, sorry guys. Uh, we're back to just a company. He had a vision for the treehouse. He wanted to build a place where people could live happy and work happy. Did he also pay them in work tokens that they could spend at the company store? 
And dang it if he didn't do just that. I had my doubts, you know. He was a different person back then. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to skip that. I thought she was done talking. Uh, and then I looked and saw that there was three dots, but by then it was already too late. Oh, here's freaking weird ass visor, dude. Zip, we have an issue. I mean, we're uh, facing a challenge. <laughs> if it's not about the reactor, I don't want to hear it. We can worry about it later. Well, you see. Well, there are intruders down in the factory floor, sir. Yeah! Then get rid of them and stop bothering me. You think I have time to worry about your stupid intruders? Is that my job, too? I'm Zick Vector, remember? Inventor of the perpetual fission reactor. The guy who pays your wages. Jeez. At least Homer Simpson's not this mean. That's all the memo list. Now we just have to show them to President Vector. There's there's one more I want to show him. But Yeah, thanks, Evan. I was just about to say that. What kind of BS uh -huh. is this? There were four listed as missing on the day space. This one, it's more of a personal record. The chief engineer's office is up ahead. I'll tell you more then when we get there. Alright, we will continue up to the chief engineer's office of chief engineering. Yeah, well this is mostly why we're gonna... We will get this waypoint. And... Well, trip, trip door. And, uh... We will... God, save my progress, I cannot stop God, I go. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, what's the oldest one? Um, man, wow, I'm really, really, really not with it. All right, this, as much as I want to keep recording, I think this has to be my last episode because I'm just not with it. I'm not with it today. I'm very tired. I'm going to go take a nap. Uh, which will mess up my sleep schedule for work. But anyway, thank you for watching this if you did. Um, hopefully join us for the next one. Uh, and hopefully my yawns didn't bother you too much. Anyway, see you in the next one. Peace.